Good morning everyone and welcome to another video. I just finished my last final for the semester yesterday so I officially survived the first semester of graduate school so hooray. I actually started my morning a few hours ago. I woke up weirdly early for some reason. I like couldn't sleep. Maybe it's just because I'm so excited about the trip that I'm going on but yeah so I just woke up did some yoga, did some cleaning, and I started to pack. I thought this would be a really good video to show you guys what I pack in my suitcase for my trip because I know a lot of people are curious to things that I would be bringing or like food staples, etc. So I'm definitely going to be showing you guys what I pack in my suitcase. Um, I already ate breakfast. I had a banana and mango smoothie bowl. It was like my last Miami mango. So very fitting for my last day in Miami for the next three weeks. And I topped it with some pink dragon fruit or pitaya and a little bit of mango and then some of these caramelized bikinis and the smoothie bowl is so creamy just the way I like it. Oh, mangoes and bananas guys it makes like the best combination ever. Oh and I added some lime juice too. Gotta like get that citrus sweet balance you know. But because like this past week I was crazy busy with studying, I haven't really planned too much for my travels. So that's basically what today is going to be. I'm going to be cleaning my apartment, packing up all of my stuff, but yeah, take you guys along with me. So right now I'm kind of waiting for some laundry to finish before I pack my suitcase, but I'm gonna start organizing some things. And then I guess once that's done, I'll lay everything out and then I will check in with you guys then. Okay guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, I am not a minimalist and I'm kind of an overpacker just because I always want to be prepared for things. I'm like, oh well, what if this happens? I should probably pack that. What if I get asked on a date? I should probably pack a fancy dress. What if it rains? I should pack a raincoat, etc. So um, I just got all the stuff. I'm not sure if all the stuff behind me is going to fit into my suitcase so I'm going to start with the clothes that I am definitely bringing and then my other travel essentials and then I'll go into the little extras that I am bringing if I have room for them. Okie dokie. Alright so first I'll start with what I'm wearing to the airport since I'm not going to be putting it into my suitcase. My flight is at 8 p.m. tonight so I'm really not planning on doing anything productive on the plane. I'm honestly going to try to sleep as much as possible. For those of you who don't know, flying to Seattle. So I'll be getting to Seattle around midnight, which is like 3 a.m. here. So I'm just going to be exhausted and basically I'm just going to try to sleep on the plane. So planes always get cold, so I'm going to dress accordingly, even though I'll probably be hot en route to the plane. On the plane, I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm just going to wear like this black long sleeve shirt. I have a pair of black leggings. And then I have this hat to block out the light in case I get near anyone who decides to be productive on the plane. And I'm also going to be using those clothes on my vacation in case it gets colder. Because the rest of the stuff I'm packing isn't really for colder weather, I guess. Okay, so I'll start with regular clothes. So basically, these are all of the shirts that I'm bringing. I wouldn't say that all of them are necessary, but I actually have a lot of like vegan themed shirts in this stack because I want to take pictures of them for Instagram. So I'd say about half of it is stuff for that and so I'm not going to include those you'll just see them on my Instagram. And then I'm bringing two black shirts. This one's like a halter. This one's like a normal cami. This is like a sarong thing. This is a black romper and this is a t-shirt and then I have another white cami. This one. Yeah you can really tell what it is right? And then for bottoms, I'm bringing a pair of jean shorts, two like looser pairs of shorts, one's black and one's patterned. And then I have those leggings. And then these are just some like looser harem pants though to wear in the evening, just in case it gets chilly. On that note, I also have a little like pullover sweatshirt to wear in case it gets chilly. And then I'm only bringing two dresses. This one is fancier and this is kind of like a beach cover up because I am going to the beach after going to Seattle. So on that note, swimsuits, I have four tops and four bottoms. I don't know why, I just do, okay. And then for workout clothes, I'm not planning on doing anything like too intense. I'm just going to try to keep up with yoga. So I'm bringing two shirts for yoga, um, a pair of shorts, two sports, one shoe, two sports bras, 
And then I'm bringing her cycling shorts because once I get to Martha's Vineyard, I'm going to be riding my bike to get around. So yeah. Oh, and for pajamas, I'm just going to be wearing one of those vegan shirts um, in the evenings, whatever one I decide. And then I'm bringing a pair of boxer pajama shorts that are my absolute favorite. I think they speak for themselves. I also packed like bras, underwear, and socks, but I'm not going to show you guys that because, I mean, you can use your imagination. And then I'm just going to be bringing three pairs of shoes. I have a pair of like really crappy flip-flops. These are nicer sandals that I'll probably wear out. And then these sneakers for hiking slash biking slash whatever. I'm also bringing this little beach towel thing for the beach. Okay, I just rolled all that up and it fits in about like half of my suitcase, so I think we're doing okay. So now I'm going to move on to the toiletries that I'm definitely bringing. Um, I just have a bag of makeup. Don't know how much I'm actually going to wear, but you know, i got to be prepared. And this is for makeup brushes. This bag is all of my like face stuff and my toothbrush and toothpaste. Um, I just posted a skincare routine recently, so if you want to know what these products are, you can check that out. Then this bag is my shower bag, so it's just like my shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and then like the lotions I use after the shower. And this bag is kind of a mixed bag. I just have some sunscreen. I use the brand Alba Botanica. It's cruelty free and vegan. And then some aloe vera in case I get burned. And then I'm also bringing some coconut oil just so I can do oil pooling while I'm on vacation. I will also be bringing some deodorant because you gotta smell good. I will also be bringing a small hand towel to take with me so when I'm traveling, if I wanna wash my face in a restroom or something, I can use this. And I am also bringing this thing that most people call loofah, but I call a buff puff. I don't know why, but yeah, for showers. I am also definitely bringing a lunchbox. This may sound weird, but like when I'm traveling, if I buy fruit or something and I want to keep it colder for a bit, or like when I go to the beach on Martha's Vineyard, I would want to keep my food cold, so I'm going to be bringing this. And then I definitely have room for my books, so I'm going to show you guys those. So I'm bringing one or two books on my carry-on to read while I'm waiting for my flight to take off, but I want to bring more with me, but I just don't want to have to deal with carrying them around, so I'm going to put them in my suitcase. Um, three of these are journals <laughs> because I told you guys I want to get more into journaling so this just like asks you a question every day this is a journal that I haven't tried yet but I'm looking forward to trying out and I'm trying to start a dream journal so that's what this is but then I have two books that I recently purchased that I want to read so if I like them I will tell you guys about them all right I'm gonna put that stuff in and see where we're at and see what food I can put in here too Okay, so we're getting pretty full, and I forgot to tell you guys two more things that I am definitely bringing. This is just all the jewelry that I plan to wear, so I'm bringing this. And then I'm bringing an extra water bottle for when I go hiking, so I can just have more sources of hydration. I have another water bottle, but I'm bringing that in my carry-on. So for food, I don't think I'm going to show you guys everything I end up packing, just because some of it is just for, like, vlogging purposes and recipes that I want to make and I know I'm going to have less access to those ingredients while I am on vacation on Martha's Vineyard and things are a little more expensive there too so if I have it here I might as well bring it but food that I'm definitely bringing that I think you guys would find helpful are um, this bag of different vegan energy bars I listed a lot of them in my favorite oil free vegan snacks video because um, I think these are great when you're on the go and if you're just hungry it's easy to carry around in your backpack and you don't have to really worry about finding food in that moment um, another thing I'm bringing are three separate servings of oatmeal because I not really sure about my breakfast situation and I feel like oatmeal is always great because you can just pour some water in it microwave a few of time if not the oats will absorb the water anyways and then you have a delicious meal so my first meal is going to be in this jar and I actually mix some greens powder and a teaspoon of coconut sugar with all of these so they're kind of like instant oatmeal packs I said a greens powder because I don't know like how many vegetables I'm going to be eating while I'm traveling because there's a lot of good vegan food where I'm going um, but yeah, so I'm just going to put water in this and then I brought the other two in baggies. So I'm just going to wash this out and then put the next one in the baggie just because it's a lot easier to eat from here. And I should probably bring a spoon too. Good idea. And plain notes can be kind of boring. So my other travel tip is I'm bringing a giant thing of medjool dates because these are pretty calorically dense as well. So if you're in a bind, they would make a good meal substitute. And I'm just going to be adding these to my oatmeal and mixing them in to make my oatmeal sweeter. And I also have like a tiny bag of dried figs that I already opened, so I'm just bringing those. And I think those are like 
the essential snacks that you need. The rest of the stuff, I'm just not gonna show you guys. I'm not even sure if it's gonna fit. I'm gonna put this stuff in first and then see where we're at. Oh, I will also be bringing all of my like camera equipment. So I have like a tripod, three cameras, I wanna talk about it, and chargers for them and like a few extra batteries. So that'll be going in there as well. Okay, and then really quickly, I'm going to show you guys what I'm bringing in my carry-on. So let's move over here. Oh, that's so much brighter. So I'm just bringing another sweater to wear on the plane in case I get more cold and then nothing really that exciting i have my water bottle that i mentioned an umbrella in case it rains the book that i am currently reading and a planner so i can plan my life out and then like i said i'm really not planning on being awake on the plane but in the off chance that i do get hungry i'm just bringing a bag of these roasted unsalted pecans pistachios they're not pecans then like I have my wallet and I get like a carry-on and personal items so I'm gonna take full advantage of that and I'm just bringing this little tote bag and I'm gonna carry my laptop in here and I think that is everything I oh no it's not and one more thing I am going to be bringing my yoga mat with me but I'm just going to be attaching it to the like lower part of my backpack through here so yeah that's everything that i'm packing with me i'm going to be gone for three weeks but i'm definitely going to have access to like a laundry machine so i'm not too concerned about my clothing i think i did okay on clothing but then i just got a little extraneous with other things but you know i'll, I'll slowly work on minimalizing yes yeah, so it's about 12 now so i think i'm gonna drink some water and then i will show you guys what i'm having for lunch hello again so i am currently cooking some pasta for lunch. I'm gonna have like pasta with peas and a little bit of tomato sauce that I've left over in the fridge. I'm trying to clear my fridge out, so I feel like these last few meals of the day are probably gonna be pretty weird, but I'm actually pretty proud of myself. I did like a really good job. I'll show you guys. So this is my area right here, and that's all I have left, which I think is pretty good. Basically, I'm going to be using all of that stuff for dinner. And I think this will be okay while I'm gone. This is some homemade kombucha that I'm probably just going to have as a snack this afternoon. This is the pasta sauce I'm going to be using up right now. And I just have half of an egg fruit or canistal that looks kind of sad. That maybe I'll have that as a snack too. So right now I am also chopping up some cherries. I bought a bag of cherries and I love cherries, but I just like didn't get around to finishing all of them before I leave. So I'm just chopping them up and I'm putting them in a freezer safe bag and I'm just gonna put them in the freezer. So now I can enjoy cherries when they're not in season and I don't have to worry about my food going bad either. So that's my travel tip. If you're not gonna use your fruit up before you leave, just freeze it. See, this is the current situation. It's easy to get those, but getting the pits out is gonna be kind of a pain in the butt. So this is lunch, and I added some nutritional yeast on top as well. Okie dokie friends, I finished putting the cherries away and I'm just snacking on that kombucha that I showed you earlier. I will probably eat the other half of the egg fruit before dinner, but I probably won't be bothered to film it. And right now I'm not doing too much. I think I'm just gonna go on my computer and plan out some like smaller details from my trip and look at like tickets for things that I wanna go to. So I will check in with you guys around dinner time and after that I'll be leaving for the airport. One eternity later. Hey guys, I'm at the airport. Well, you can't really see out there, but that's where all the planes are, so. Yeah, I kind of want to apologize because I haven't really been vlogging since around lunchtime, but long story short, I kind of had like a little bit of a mini mental breakdown. Um, I guess I just realized like this is the first time that I'm going to be traveling completely by myself and I just started to like freak out a little and I'm going to be meeting up with other people and like seeing the people I'm traveling, but this is the first time that I've like gone on an extended trip completely by myself for the whole time. So, I don't know, I guess I just got a little nervous and yeah, so I just decided to be best for my mental sanity not to vlog while I was like freaking out and I just wanted to share that with you guys to be honest to let you know like, hey, I'm not perfect. I'm definitely not 100% confident 100% of the time. I definitely have my moments. Yeah, the security guards just like walked past me. Apparently this is a hallway. Um, 
But yeah, I'm here at my flight. My flight doesn't get into Seattle until like midnight, I said, which is actually like 3 a.m. my time, so I'm gonna be completely exhausted, and then I just have to go get my rental car and drive to my Airbnb. So I think I'm just going to end the vlog here to, for my own mental sanity, but I will definitely see you guys tomorrow in Seattle. So, before someone else comes. I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching and the next vlog will be more interesting, I promise. For sure. And I will talk to you later. Bye.